Hey guys, so I uh, wanted to start up a new series of videos and I'm hoping to kind of keep this going for some time uh, um, and just, you know, periodically just kind of push, push, you know, one out every so often um, just based off of what I've learned or picked up, you know, while, while doing this job. So, uh, you know, BIM manager tip and the first one's going to be on Microsoft Flow. And uh, just to keep this short, we'll take a look at the next slide real quick. Okay, so Microsoft Flow, um, you know, automated workflows, you know, um, to ultimately save time. Um, um, can't get much simpler than that. Uh, you know, we'll take a look at it real quick. It's, it, you know, when you hear automated workflows, when you hear that, um, you know, generally, you may think of Dynamo or, or Python or a programming application um, that you would then, you know, have to first learn before you can, you know, start doing those things um, or, you know, even creating macros and stuff. Um, but uh, the whole premise of this tool is, you know, it's a it's a non programming interface where, you know, you, you, you kind of just. Uh, plug and play with it you just you know uh, apply some 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 things to it and then you're good to go you don't have to really get into the programming side it does have that option so that you can create uh, more specific workflows but um, for the most part uh, it, the idea is so you can get in there kind of do what you need to not have to pick up an entirely you know separate degree uh, in, in some other uh, field to 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 do it um, so what we'll do is we'll just jump into flow real quick and take a look at that All right, so here's flow. This is my company's um, or I'm signed in under my company's uh, email um, Which is DLR group. So uh, There's no sensitive information on here. So I'm not too worried about that. We won't go into the actual uh, the flows themselves uh, what we'll do is we'll take a look at actually creating one or what we'll do is look at the templates uh, because on there there's a there's a whole bunch of them that are, are, are really great to kind of start off with uh, for the most part so I've been use so I've been using flow for for some time um, at my last position I used it for a variety of, uh, of things you know for one example is using using it on Trello anytime a Trello card or whatever they were called was updated then it would all automatically push to uh, Wonderlist uh, and then then I can use that um, um, on my phone uh, and other things because Wonderlist was just my kind of my my go-to for just creating generic tasks so if it was set up on Trello it would just automatically connect to that as well um, so you know when you come out to flows interface after you sign in and get to it you have a few options over here to the left if you go to um my flows which you know may it's probably empty for you if you haven't created any but this is essentially where all your flows are the ones that you set up to to run and there's a variety of things that um you can do with them and we'll kind of touch on that when we look at the template we'll we'll talk a little bit about these but um, what's cool is there's different types. So you have scheduled, you have instance, and you have automated. So, um, and I think that there might be some others, I don't know. But, uh, you know, for the most part, I think that covers everything. But so to kind of give you a brief overview on this one, um, I, as and this is kind of the more or less the BIM, BIM manager, you know, manager tip. You know, is to leverage this tool to automate some of the tedious things that we do. Um, that's not necessarily specific to BIM, uh, but like this one, I'm looking at the project leaders of each region that I'm, or each office that I'm, uh, that's in my region. So you know, we've got Overland Park, Orlando, Houston, uh, Austin, and Dallas. So those offices are all in my region. So what I want to do is each quarter I want to reach out to those offices to kind of get an idea um, from a BIM perspective of where everything stands like uh, you know that way I can allocate my resources you know specific you know specifically to those the office offices based off of you know their input and their needs um, so I'm not kind of just you know uh, um, 
blind to to what's happening in each office and it just keeps you know the information flowing from them uh keeps them keeps me top of mind uh when they think about bim and, and what they can do um and just you know that i'm a resource and that they can talk with me so i've got this scheduled out to send every uh 90 days to each office and um it emails automatically and then Am I, you know, it depends on what you're using, but I'm using OneNote. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this has a tie in. I know there's some Google things that I think it ties into, but I'm not sure if it ties into Gmail. But in Outlook, you know, you can automate, you can here automate the email. And then in Outlook, you can set up a rule to look for um, the subject line. So each subject line, you know, in there it says, uh, project leaders, BIM task request, OPK. And then I set up a rule to look for that and it filters it into a folder. So all the emails that I get back from sending this to this office will get filtered into that one folder. Because each of these offices, I have it sent out 90 days, but um, they're uh, all each you know one day apart. Uh, because um, like for example, this office is about 100 people. Um, I think uh, Dallas is about 80 or so. So, um, you know, I just have it filtered to folders so that it doesn't get overwhelming, you know, the emails. And then from there, I can filter down and, and uh, you know, assign those their different tasks. I can figure out, you know, what's needed on them and then, uh, you know, take that information to my OneNote, whatever the case is. And I can schedule my time a little bit better. Um, so here's some other ones that I use. So I uh, send a, a myself a reminder in 10 minutes. I don't use this one that often, but it, you know, it's nice to have it. Um, and these are cool because you can actually download the app. And with the app, you have these options to kind of just click on a button uh, on the app and it'll automatically send it. It's just, uh, you know, when you go to the app, it, it has that screen. Um, there's a screen on it to take you to these. And it's just like, it just has all your buttons that, that are set up on there. Um, and then you can just press them and it runs it and like block out my office 365 calendar for an hour. I've used this a few times. This is nice, you know, especially if you get caught up, you know, uh, talking with somebody or dragged into a meeting, you can schedule out your time to let people know, Hey, I'm, I'm busy uh, for this hour. Uh, create a quick note for important emails. That's kind of cool. It, it creates a, a note in one note, um, for, uh, uh, important emails. So it just, it just, uh, it adds them in there and then I can go look at that list and then create a task when an emails email is flagged. So it creates a task within Outlook automatically anytime an email is flagged. Um, so like when I flag it, it, so I'll go in there and flag it and then it'll create a task afterwards. And those things are automated and these here are instant. So they just run after I press the button and then these are scheduled. They're set on a scheduled basis of every 90 days. So if you want to um, create your own, I, I generally start with a template. Um, you can create from blank, but um, I don't usually start that way. I always like to just see what's out there. So, I mean, you can go to template, um, and then here is all flows. And I think somewhere you can set it up to look at your company company's flows and see you know what, what it is that they have out there and see if there's other ones that you want to use. Um, power apps button. So power apps is really awesome too. I recommend checking that out. Um, I might make another video on that, but I use power apps to, so I have one to, um, track my, um, connections. So, um, any of my, like my top connections, um, I, I, tr I use power app and then, you know, I fill out the connection information, push it to a Excel document that is then, um, just has some conditional stuff set up on there to remind me, um, to contact this person, you know, every 90 or, um, year or whatever, um, to contact them, um, just to reach out. And so power apps is a great, great way to kind of, kind of do that. You can tie the app into uh, an Excel document, which is awesome. So, you know, you can kind of scroll through this and, and see if some of these workflows aligned with your process. There's some cool ones like uh, saving your uh, attachments to, to specific folders. Um, I think there's one that you can even, if you receive certain um, emails with, uh, with specific, specific uh, text in it, you know, either in the subject or, or somewhere, that it will it'll filter it down into a folder. Or, or something else or like a, a um, let you know or or extract that specific uh, attachment you know if somebody's sending Revit files for wh whatever reason through email um, 
but yeah, you know, just go ahead and check these out. These things are awesome. They, they're, they've uh, sped up a lot of what I've done. I'm still trying to find different ways to use them. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, just use this as your kind of starting point, And then, you know, from there you can grow and, and try to do more with it, uh, create your own, um, you know, customize them. Uh, in a variety of different ways and just to show you real quick um, so like this send uh, the reminder this is uh, this is uh, kinda how it looks like I mean this is a simple one so maybe we'll go back and we'll take a look well here we'll go back to mine and then we'll take a look at this one so this is kinda cool so it'll show us the so if you click on the flow it'll show you details so what the flow the description status created modify type and then tells you all the run times um, but if we go back and then I go back into that I don't know which one it was but if you click on the three dots go up to edit it'll actually take you to the to the uh, graph and then here you can um, start uh, plugging in more steps to this so essentially when you go to create one you start with a it blank and you add steps so like this first step is when a new email arrives you know do this create a page in quick notes then do this send me an, uh, a mobile no notification um, I wouldn't want to do this because I get um, like 80 emails a day so this would be horrible but you know this process may work for some folks that don't you know um, their their process for email is, is different so um, but if you when you add these you can actually click on them and then you know um, it has, you know, each one has a variety of different information based off of the task that it's doing. And then here you would kind of fill that out. Um, if we jump down here, we can see that. Jump down to this one. It asks for different information. So, you know, you can customize these in, in a variety of different ways. Uh, if you want to add more steps, you come down here and then you ultimately save it. And then you run your flow or, you know, you set it up on a schedule or it's be automated, whatever the case. Um, one cool thing too is you can check it so you can test and you can say I you know I'll perform this test it and then it'll run that test and then you know whatever it's doing it'll it'll um, let you know yeah, that it works uh, I know for the email one since I was sending it to so many people I was making sure to test it quite a bit to make sure that everything you know worked out smoothly and then I added all the emails afterwards um, so yeah, that's it. So hopefully this kind of helps you out. Um, I love Flow. I think it's an awesome platform. It's really easy. You know, it gets me what I need. Um, you know, it's flexible enough for me. Uh, and it's just, you know, the barrier to entry is just really low and it's awesome to use. I'd love to know if you guys are using it or if you do plan on using it, what, you know, what it is that you plan to set up or what you thought was the coolest. Um, just leave a comment. Um, I'll, if you just search Microsoft Flow, you'll find it. But if I remember, I'll add a link uh, below and you can check that out. So thanks.